Dallas Cowboys. As of this morning, summer officially over. It's time for autumn football, and we're underway on EA Sports. Start the drive with Dixon. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now let's go! 319! 3-19! On second down, it's Dixon. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Back to throw. Barnes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 18. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. He'll look to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Used to have a coach who tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. He'll drop to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. They're trying to resurrect his confidence. Last week was a disaster. Five interceptions in that loss and another pick there. I played with a quarterback like this before, and he had a tough game. And the head coach said, I'll take him. I'll fix him. The very next game, he started out the exact same way. And the head coach turned to the offense coordinator and said, he's yours from now on. <laughs> Someone has to take responsibility and work with him and try and get him settled. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. 
A first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. First and 10 right at the 20. On the give, this is Dixon. Spins past it. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside. So the and he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you can see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. On play action, they'll throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A gain of 32 that time. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll look to throw now on first down. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. So first and 10 now from the 30. A first down carry by Allian. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and Detroit, nine. Detroit. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when Detroit, you've got a running Detroit. back of this size, of these dimensions, over, over, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Over, 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 over. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And Anderson's got it. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. This quarterback now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. 
They'll pitch it out to Alley. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. to him up the middle and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown Ezekiel Elliott his third touchdown now on the year and the Raiders they're within an extra point of tying this thing up extra point right down the middle and we are tied at seven So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now here come the Cowboys. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Looking to throw on second down. Barnes. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite third. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that. Give him clean lanes and throw the football in order to have a better chance to win again this week. A good return there. 17 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and ten. They'll start the drive with Elliott. They'll get three up to midfield. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on, right, and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. They face a second and seven to start things out. Check, Patriot! 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Out of the gun now on third down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. They'll go with a keeper. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Check the hot read. Jim, 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 Jim. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Check four, check four. Let's go. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten, eluding the pressure right. Oh, nearly picked. And yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. The name of the game is always on defense. Put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Now back to throw. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead it just brings up fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. And they're not going to get the snap off. This might back them out of field goal range. So that'll back them up five. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner Tress Way on to punt the football. And this will get inside the 20 and be touched down just outside of the 15-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... This big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally 
and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Detroit! Detroit! Now a handoff for Dixon. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They'll run it now out of the gun. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. And that pick just sets him up beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college, and our defensive coordinator says, we're going to call this be-who-you-are defense. D-linemen, you play the run. Linebackers, be aware of anything. And secondary, you... And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. It's their quarterback. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are in for six. Instead of having to play follow the leader there, the leader led. I like that. And, and he likes that, doesn't he? First and goal, let me do the job. Because you know when he falls into the end zone after falling behind those big, big guys who pushed up front, that's a pretty good celebration, isn't it? Gives him a little street cred in the locker room too, doesn't it? Street cred, and then when they go out to dinner afterwards, he's still picking up the check. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. Watch him now, Barney, Barney! Detroit, Detroit! All right now, lucky 56, lucky 56! Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. Intended that time for Cooper. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. On first and goal, Dixon. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Well, we know he's an electric runner. Earlier this half, we were wondering, you were wondering how they were going to bottle him up at different levels. That was your suggestion. Some mixed results. Yeah, certainly, because we have seen him bottled up at times. We've seen him play him very well. We We've also now. seen him pop the cork a few times and get out of there. Haven't we? we have indeed. He's going to get it running right. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. The Cowboys on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're looking at a third and goal here. Watch him now, Barney! Barney! Looking to throw. Barnes. And that one's going to be over everybody in the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. 
Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people would think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, you get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Tim Carey now for Elliott. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. It's a five-yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back, and it's back to second and 10. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. Back to throw now on second and 10. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. The Raiders on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. He'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 36. A great pick. Nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. Trying to pound it in with Dixon. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Extra point forthcoming. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Raiders. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. And my goodness, another interception. 
Picked off at the 18. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The drive begins with a run by Dixon. And he'll power his way up near the 25. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Now let's go! Blue Landing! They'll get it to Dixon, running left. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. Lucky 56. On third down, Barnes. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. And this is a way. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get go, back go. into the game. Go, go. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself All in a now, spot where you may not be able to come back set. in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Complete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. The Raiders on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 10. Throw now on the final play. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Elliott, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. 
So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Set up a throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. throw here on first down looking left side he's got it complete a pickup of 10 and it's enough for an Oakland first down in today's football where receivers break tackles make people miss <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot that's a big time play by the defense Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Throw left side, complete. That's Elliott. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that'll make it a second down. seven here four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down when you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage back to throw couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you feel like you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? A run by Dixon, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. 
That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. First target, first catch, and a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. On first down, they go with Dixon. Fighting down past the 45. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there. 66 yards. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And he keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Completes it right side to Cooper. Broke a tackle, but not much room there. Just up past the 25, no further. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there? Swarming to it and not allowing that to happen. Did not let him get downfield. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think no, he was no, as no, surprised no, as Patrick, maybe his bench Patrick. was. throw here out of the gun and now here is another interception picked off near the 44 and they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44 yard line Give him a yard down to the 43. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Stay on the ground with Dixon. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. 
They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. him up five first and 15. They'll run with Dixon. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Play was stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Play action. Barnes. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. The Cowboys on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and 15. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Let's just feel it at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away, and they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Here we go now. 319. 319. Detroit! Detroit! I got him, man. I got him. I got him. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They'll look to throw here. Drops it underneath to Elliott. Give him seven on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. This is where you need to rely on your offensive line, and you tell the person carrying the football, no dilly-dallying around, no trying to hit the home run. Just hit the hole hard and get in there for a first down. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and now it's second down. 
another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Detroit! Detroit! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Watch it now, Barney! Barney! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. play fake he'll look to throw looking deep in the direction of Cooper so they took a shot there on third down couldn't get it now it's four this defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield and look it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone eventually that becomes man on man and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football try it here he's back to throw and they will not be able to hook up there it's incomplete or it looked like he had it and dropped it and dallas they'll take over in terrific field position so out come the cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over been a very strong performance for them really on both sides of the football the turnover on downs the most recent example and now obviously they're in a great spot here yeah, if you're over on the bench right now you're shaking hands with your teammate you're hugging him give him a little dap been a big big performance for them now you just don't get careless take care of the ball on the way out To throw on second down, Barnes. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That was a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Play action. They'll throw. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call Detroit, it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Detroit, well, and you Detroit. want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. On first down, he'll drop to throw. To the right side, he's got Cooper. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 Detroit. yards on the play. Detroit! 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 Watch him now, Barney! Barney! They go play action here on first down. And that is incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, 
and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Patriot, Patriot! Detroit! Detroit! He'll drop to throw. He hits McCluster complete. First target, first catch, and a first down. fake. They'll look to throw. Flip that. He can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Detroit! Detroit! And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score God, yourself. God. But now God, is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Watch you now, Barney, Barney. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He lost two there, and it's third down. The Cowboys on third down. It's been a problem, just one for seven thus far. This is third and seven. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. They'll run it with Dixon. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Right back to Dixon. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Cowboys, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Oakland, they'll fall to 1-2, and, and they'll be at home next week.